Good morning. This is Holly Taylor, Assistant State Naturalist for Tennessee State Parks, and I am in beautiful Edgar Evans State Park located in Middle Tennessee, and we're talking about spring ephemerals, wildflowers that bloom in early spring. And one species that's a favorite for many is Dutchman's Breeches. But there's another similar species that people tend to confuse with it, and that's squirrel corn. So today we're going to talk about the differences between those two plants and some facts about these plants as well. So the first one we're going to talk about is Dutchman's Breeches. So this is Dutchman's Breeches, Dicentra cucularia. And the primary difference between both squirrel corn and Dutchman's Breeches is in the structure of the flower. These are nectar spurs, and both species have them, but in Dutchman's britches, they're pointed at the top. And these species both prefer undisturbed areas, so you're only going to find them in areas where you've, they've not been plowed or you haven't had much livestock. And they're both members of Ranunculaceae, which is the buttercup family, so they're toxic to mammals. So a lot of mammals don't eat it, but there are a lot of pollinators, like long-tongued bees, that will uh, nectar on them. But the most interesting thing about this plant is the way that the seeds are spread. So the seeds have this fleshy attachment called an eleasome, and it attracts ants, and they collect it and take it back to their nest and eat the fleshy part and discard the seed. And wherever the seeds are deposited in their nest is where they germinate and then grow a new plant. So, Dutchman's Bridges, Dicentra cucularia. So this is squirrel corn, Dicentra canadensis, and again you can see that it has the two spurs at the top, but in squirrel corn they are rounded at the top and not pointed like Dutchman's Bridges. And also the inflorescence, or flower stalk, is more upright and in Dutchman's Bridges it has a more arched growth habit, sort of like an arched clothesline. And another difference between the two species is that this one, squirrel corn, actually has a fragrance if you lean in and smell it a little bit more closely. So, squirrel corn, Dicentra canadensis. So hopefully you've enjoyed this comparison today of the two species, Dutchman's Bridges and squirrel corn. If you have any other questions about wildflowers or would like to request a certain wildflower for us to talk about, please comment below. Have a good day and thanks for watching.